And again, this morning, I want to minister from Ecclesiastes chapter three, very familiar verse verses of scripture in the book of Ecclesiastes, probably the most familiar verses in the book where it talks about there's a time and season for every purpose under heaven. It talks about a time to be born, a time to die, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time of war, a time of peace, a time of sowing, a time of reaping, a time of laughing, a time of mourning. And then it mentions a time to gain or to get and a time to lose. And so there is a season of gaining, there's a season of getting, but then there's a season of losing, which often is not talked about in the church because we primarily talk about victory and gaining and increase. But what do you do in a losing season? Does God have a purpose for a losing season in your life? so that you can better understand. What happens, for instance, when you're a pastor and you begin to lose members? Not because of scandal, not because of anything that you've done, but you lose members, you lose good people, walk away from you. What happens when you lose relationships? When people that were once close to you walk away from you? What happens when you lose loved ones, when they pass away? Many have lost loved ones uh, during the two years of pandemic, you may have known someone, loved someone, and they died. They left, and you were heartbroken, you were hurting, you were, you were weeping, you were crying, and sometimes you just can't understand. Lord, why am I, am I in a season of losing? Why am I losing relationships? Why am I losing people? Why am I losing people that were my friends? Why are they departing from me? What is the purpose of this season? Why am I losing? What, what good? Why even is there a, a season of losing? Well, we love to gain. We love increase. We love to get new friends. We don't like sometimes losing people. Uh, we don't like losing relationships. Uh, we don't like losing positions, uh, losing a job, uh, losing something that was that that would you had for a long period of time and it left it departed you lost it what is the purpose of that how do you navigate during that kind of season how do you understand it? remember there's a time and season for every purpose under heaven so god does have a purpose in this particular season now as i began to think about this and i don't think i've ever preached on a losing season you know we preach on winning and victory and gaining and increasing. We don't generally preach on losing. That's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling when you lose people, when you lose relationships. That, that is not something that feels good. It hurts. It can be disappointing. It can be embarrassing. Um, it can be a time of sadness and grief, especially when you lose a loved one, when someone close to you passes away. And, and so... Sometimes we don't understand it. Why? People always ask that question. Why is this happening to me? But as you live, you find out this is a part of life. This is a part of living. If you live long enough, you will lose. You will lose some relationships, some people. You will lose something very close to you. And what's the purpose of it? So as I was thinking of ministering on this, um, the, the Lord brought my attention to uh, trees. Now, many of you know I love talking about trees. Trees are one of my favorite subjects. I did a whole series on trees um, online. I talked about different kinds of trees. Uh, I talked about the walnut tree, the palm tree, the myrtle tree. Um, I talked about the oak tree, uh, the olive tree, what they represent prophetically. Uh, and trees are beautiful. They grow and they grow all of this beautiful foliage, these leaves, and um, uh, the tree is full, especially in the summer when, when, when the leaves grow back and it's beautiful, everything is green, the, 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 the birds are in the trees and it's just a beautiful sight. And then as the summer comes to an end, those leaves begin to fall when fall comes those leaves begin to fall from the trees. The trees 
begin to lose their leaves. They begin to lose their beauty. And uh, after a few weeks, maybe a month, they change colors and then the trees fall and the leaves fall and now the trees are barren and it goes through a winter season when there are no leaves on the trees. And um, that's the picture the Lord brought to me. What is the purpose of trees losing their leaves? What is the purpose except for the evergreen? That's always green. I even did a message on the evergreen, how you can uh, be green and flourishing. But most trees lose their leaves. And what, what is the purpose of that? Why, why, what can we learn uh, from, is that happening on my, okay. What, what can we learn from that? Uh, why is that something that we can get a lesson from? Well, remember, when you lose something, uh, when you lose relationships, it could be, and I believe this is something very important to understand. It could be that God is positioning you to receive something new. Sometimes before you can receive the new, you have to get rid of the old. And I'm not, I'm not looking at relationships as just disposable people. I, I hate when people teach that, you know, I just walk away from everybody and start over. I don't believe relationships are just disposable. I believe that you can't have lifelong friends and you don't have to lose certain people. But I do know in life that you do lose relationships. You lose people. They leave your life either through death or just they move. They go somewhere else. They're no longer there, especially if you're a minister and if you're a pastor and especially if you've been pastoring a long time you know, 10, 20, 30 years, you probably don't have the same congregation except for some faithful people that you had 20 or 30 years ago. You lose people. They leave. Sometimes God removes them. God sends them away. Why does that happen? Even though you want to hold on to everybody. Well, I believe that God positions you for some new things because always remember that after that season when the tree has lost its leaves, its foliage, its beauty, springtime comes. And we're now in the springtime when the weather begins to change, the days get longer, and all of a sudden the trees begin to blossom, begin to bud, and the leaves begin to grow on the tree. And all of that is new, new foliage, new leaves, new beauty. And that tree that lost all of its foliage, all of his beauty is once again thriving and green and beautiful. The flowers come back. The beauty comes back. It's a time of restoration, a time of re revival, so to speak, a time of newness, a time of freshness. So we can see this even in the natural seasons. The fall is a season when you lose sunlight. The, the days get shorter. You lose uh, foliage on the trees. You lose the, the birds leave. You lose the flowers. That's the winter, the fall and winter. But then comes spring and summer when all of it begins to come back and the beauty is restored. And of course, for most of us, spring and summer are our favorite months because it's so beautiful. You can go out, you can plant flowers, you can garden again. Uh, you can go in parks. You can, you can enjoy the beauty of nature. But that would not have happened if you did not have a season of losing. So when you lose, I believe it is a part of gaining something new. When God wants to do something new in your life, in relationships, in ministry, in business, um, things don't last forever. Things don't go on forever. We want to hold on to things. We want to never lose anything. But that's not the way life operates. That is not the season that you often find yourself in. And so always remember that after a season of loss, there could be a season of gain. It's like sowing and reaping. You sow and then you reap. And reaping comes after sowing. Often gaining comes after losing. Many of us have been in seasons where we're growing, we're gaining, we're increasing, we're gaining a, a name, notoriety, fame, finances. It feels good to gain. It feels good to get all these new relationships. 
And then you go through a hard season where you're losing and uh, it's not comfortable. It doesn't feel good. Sometimes you're confused because when you're gaining and gaining and gaining, you think that's going to last forever and it can last a long time. But then when that season of losing comes, I believe it, it balances out the season of gain because sometimes another reason why I believe that there's a season of losing is because losing brings you into a position of humility. You know, I've seen people who gain and they gain and they gain. And there's a tendency to become proud, arrogant, puffed up, begin to become vain because you're gaining so much. And sometimes God has to allow a season of losing just to bring you back to a place of humility. It's a balance. There's a, there's a season, even in the, in the earth, there's seasons of prosperity. Then there's seasons of famine. There's seasons of, of good, seasons of, 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 of laughing. And then there's seasons of crying. It balances out life. You know, you, you can't have a life that is not balanced. You can't have a life where you just, you get, you get proud, you get arrogant. Everything works great for you. Nothing bad ever happens. You need a season, and I know this may be a hard message, you need a season of losing because that really brings you back to ground. It brings you back to the ground. It balances you. It lets you realize that all that season of gaining was the blessing of the Lord, and it was great, but your life does not, your life does not depend on gaining all the time. Your love for God does not depend on gaining. Can you love God and praise and worship and serve God when you're losing? Can you still have joy when you're losing? Can you still be content when you're losing, when you're humble, when it seems like you're not have the momentum or the gain that you once have? That those are the times that really test your love for God and your, your devotion to God, not in the gaining season. Because in the gaining season, everybody's happy. Everybody's praising God. Everybody's rejoicing. But in that losing season, that hard season, that's a time when you really have to humble yourself, pray, walk in faith, believe God. God is good. God has me in this season for a reason. I understand God is doing something in my life. God is changing some things in my life. Because sometimes when you gain, you depend on people. You put your trust in man. You put your trust in certain people. Then when they leave your life, your whole world falls apart because you really put too much trust in them. It really teaches you how to trust God and not trust man. Now, people are important. People are great. God can send people to your life to bless you, but we never put our trust in man. We never put our trust in ourselves. We always put our trust in God. <coughs> Excuse me. So in that losing season, it's really a season that God humbles you. God causes you to trust him. God causes weeping. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. But there is always a season of restoration. There's a season of gaining again. You won't be in the losing season all the time. It won't last forever. It won't last forever. It won't last forever. After the tree loses its leaves, it comes back in the spring. It grows again. God positions you for something new. Something even bigger and better is coming. Something greater is coming in your life. So never despise the losing season. Understand its purpose. It has a reason. It's uncomfortable, but never despise it. Understand it. Never feel ashamed of it. Never get swallowed up in grief and depression and sadness saying, oh my God, why is this happening to me? It's not happening to everyone else. Well, it may not be that season for them, but it's the season for you. And know that that losing season will not last forever. There will come new things. There will come new relationships. There will come new doors. There will come new people, new friends. You will have those relationships again. Love the people that left you, bless them, and, and move on with your life. Uh, don't get sad, depressed in a dump, but believe God that as the season changes, you're changing. God is maturing you. God is teaching you. God is developing you. God is maturing you. 
God is working some new things inside of you. So thank God for the seasons that we go through in life. Understand there are seasons. Don't be confused about it. Understand it. Have wisdom. This is Ecclesiastes is a wisdom book. I love it because it's a wisdom book and I'm a lover of wisdom. I love wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. And so I love the wisdom in this book. It really gives you wisdom for life. How to navigate your life without getting depressed, sad, wanting to give up, wanting to end your life. No, God has a purpose for the season. Now, some of you may be saying, look, I've been in a losing season too long. I pray that God would bring you into a season of gain, that the season would shift and that new things would come into your life. I don't believe that you should be a, a loser. You're a victor. You're an overcomer. You're a believer. And some of you have been saying, well, I've just been gaining, gaining, gaining. Well, when the losing season does come and it will come, it's to balance you. It's to, it's to show you that God is God in spite of the season that you're in. And you can learn how to navigate that season. And there is a purpose for uh, preparing you for something new. You lose the old, you gain the new. Isaiah 42 and 9, the former things have come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. So Father, I pray for everyone uh, that is viewing uh, this broadcast on Facebook today. I pray, Lord, that you would give them the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, the spirit of understanding, that they would understand the times and the seasons. They would be like the tribe of Issachar. They would know what to do in each season and that they would know that life consists of seasons. Life consists of seasons. They would not be full of despair, discouragement, depression, sadness, or defeat. But they'll have victory after victory after victory. And they'll know your plans and purposes for their life. And Lord, do something new, something fresh for those who have been in the losing season. And those that are in the gaining season, let them enjoy their gains. But let them know that there may come a season of losing. And not to despair when it happens. For new things have been ordained and declared over your life. Well, that's my word today for those on Facebook Live. Hopefully you enjoyed this short teaching. Go and read Ecclesiastes 3, meditate on it. Pray for God to give you wisdom concerning the seasons of life and the purposes of God. We always want to walk in God's purpose. God's purpose is greater than ours. We will not only walk in it, we want to understand the purposes of God and walk in those purposes because you were created and you live for a purpose and God saved you for a purpose. So walk in God's purpose, um, live through the season you're in now, understand it, use wisdom, walk in wisdom and believe that God has a, a end, a result for you. The thoughts he has for you are thoughts of good, not evil to bring you to an expected end. Amen. Thank all of those that are sowing and giving. If this word blessed you, you want to sow, don't forget the giving addresses cash app je global also venmo paypal paypal.me slash apostle je backslash apostle je the number one those addresses also given on today's broadcast and i decree again favor grace blessing prosperity hopefully you enjoyed today's teaching and i'll be back again tomorrow this week um and and usually we come on 9 15 uh, a.m central standard time and until you hear from me again, for those on Facebook Live, I'm going to sign out. I'm going to continue on Clubhouse. Until you hear from me again, God bless you and double shalom.